I remember myself when I was in the situation that you're in today. You moved here just a few months ago. You just got a work visa. And now you're ready to hit the workforce. How do you do that if you don't speak the language? How do you do that if you don't know where to start? Then I want you to definitely make sure you watch this video because I'm going to tell you the journey that I went through myself. Because 10 years ago, yes, I've been here for 10 years. 10 years ago, I moved to Israel. And for the first few months, I had no work visa. I was going crazy. I had culture shock. I didn't know exactly what I would do with my time. And so thank goodness I had my books. Thank goodness there was a television, a computer in my life so I could escape from sheer boredom and insanity. But great news, eventually I got a visa. And I'm sure you could relate with those first few months as well. But now you have a work visa. Me, myself, what I did when I finally got a work visa is I really didn't know where to start. So what I did is I went down to the beach. I live in Tel Aviv. So I went down to the beaches of Tel Aviv and I went to go find a job uh, wherever I could. I literally started uh, at the start of the beach, sort of the boardwalk there. And I went from hotel to hotel to restaurant to hotel to restaurant to hotel in person with my resume in my hand. And I asked if they were hiring for any positions. And yeah, as crazy as it sounds, and I went to probably 10, 12 different places. And on the 12th place, I found a restaurant that was hiring. Now, keep in mind that I do not recommend for you to do this whatsoever. That's not where this video is going, you know, at all. But this is what I did. I didn't know what to do. No one made a video for someone like me. I didn't speak Hebrew. I didn't have any kombinas or connections. So I had to figure things out on my own. So I'm working in a restaurant in the kitchen. The kitchen is a rough place to work. And no matter what kitchen you work in, for sure you understand if you're, you work in a kitchen, it's a hard job and you don't get paid a lot if you work in the kitchens that I worked in. So in that kitchen, it was a rough time for me. I don't know, 14 hour shifts, I was making 6,000 shekels a month, just horrible. And so definitely don't do what I did. Don't go down and sort of try to walk the streets trying to find a job. You're gonna find a very low paying job if you attempt to do that. However, and my recommendation, because this is what I did, is I asked around and found out that there were job agencies here in Israel. Just like there's job agencies in the U.S., there's job agencies here in Israel. You definitely, definitely need to contact a job agency right away when you get your visa. Um, man, I want to say I wasted probably eight months of my life just working some bullshit job. And then I found out about the job agencies that I should reach out to. Yeah, I went on to Facebook. Yeah, I tried the Internet thing. But ultimately... I ended up going to a job agency, a headhunter, someone who would help me find a better paying job because you know how it works. And if you don't know how it works, a job agency is a company you go to where there's employees there whose job it is to find you work. And you tell them what your skills are. You tell them how much you'd like to be paid and you send them your CV and your resume and then your phone will ring on occasion from them. So there's probably 20 or 30 different job agencies you can go out to and contact right now because you don't speak Hebrew, because you don't know how to get a job until you've seen this video. Or if you already did, this is a reminder video. Contact a headhunter, contact a job agency, and have them help you to find a job. List the skills you have, create a great CV, and send it out. Have a great day.